last time we discussed about uh, uh, some of the classes okay like remember we have discussed about uh, on the page number 10 uh, 11 actually the class design and we have came, uh, we have shown how the class time was working okay so this was the first class okay, the definition that will okay demoed last class so this time I will go further and tell you about the next topic which is on page number 13 on page number 13 of your lab manual there's a class uh, okay account and this is just a demo okay uh, how the arrays of object work okay so today we will learn how to okay work with the arrays arrays are very important factor okay in the future uh, programs so arrays of object the basic idea is okay for the arrays of object is like this so in this lab manual as you can see it okay uh, the arrays are nothing but actually they are okay wait a second i would just use the pen okay so uh, the thing is okay if I can write it, that's better. Mm, not really. Okay. okay, so I think you the pen. Oh, okay, here I go. That's okay. So, in fact, okay, the arrays are, okay, are also a kind of, a kind of database, right, excuse me. So, here we will see, okay, how does it work in this program. And before that, okay, I will explain uh, X as arrays, okay, uh, just like an object, okay, this can be considered as object. So, Mainly, the arrays are, you can think it as a collection of boxes, okay? A collection of boxes itself. And in the, every box, okay, just like in variable, last time I, uh, in earlier classes also, I told you that variables are just simply a box, okay? So if you declare a variable integer i, okay? This means uh, i equal to let's say three okay so this means there's a variable name i okay let's say this is variable i and here in this variable i i am putting some value okay payment inside this box okay so this was the simple okay uh, explanation about the variables here okay in arrays okay we have not just one box okay we have a collection of boxes okay so we have box number zero one two three four five and six and so on okay so these are just collection of boxes itself and every time okay whenever you put uh, some value it will go through okay inside one of these boxes okay uh, for example if i say but the method is a little different, okay? not like uh, just simply defining like this. It's like something that I say uh, insert inside, uh, let's say the name of this array is, okay, uh, is integer type, let's say integer uh, A array, and which is uh, defined like this one, okay, without any initialization, let's say, okay, we are not just going for equal. And but later I want to put inside this array some value okay, but so I have to put like this that I put a array a okay. um, if I can erase it okay that's okay so let's say I want to put some value inside this array so how to do that one I will go to okay uh, array a let's say the same array a and I will put uh, I will put explicitly okay in our statement of, of Java okay in the program that I want to put at 
zero position of error array a value came at let's say i want to put number six okay so if i say like this it will go here six okay now let's say i want to put on in this array on the position number five okay or uh, something like number seven so i want to put the value seven inside number five okay so this will go to the okay five here okay seven so every time okay uh, whenever we want to put it just we have to make some kind of statement like this one otherwise it will be empty okay without any okay uh, value inside so every uh, just consider array as a collection of boxes that's all okay uh, just like uh, we were considered earlier we were considering earlier like the variables okay it's just as one box here okay we will consider array as collection of boxes that's all so uh, this is all about okay, arrays and uh, pay attention that arrays always start with the zero indexing okay so the first box is considered as box number zero, okay and thereafter box number one two and so on okay uh, okay, so this is all about arrays, okay? Uh, for example, uh, there's an exact, uh, okay, I think uh, I should explain this program also for the, for the moment. Uh, I have already shown you this program, but uh, in this object, okay, I will just uh, repeat the same thing, okay? So in the class account, we have created a class account, okay? And we have uh, initiate, uh, we have, declare two variables a and b okay here a and b then we came to the okay uh, a function okay or method okay in java okay set data this one so this set data okay method will take inside two values c and d and uh, they will equalize respectively <coughs> excuse me they will uh, are you listening? It's okay. Okay. So they are equalizing it respectively to these A and B, okay, values. So this means, okay, uh, A equal to C and B equal to D. Let's say the user has entered C and D. So in this case, the A, okay, will take the value of C, B will take the value of D, okay, and uh, so this is all about this method. The next method is show data. This one, show data, and this will print simply uh, the data, uh, the values of A and B, okay, which is taken from C and D, okay, here. So it is just simple. So this whole class, okay, is uh, taking two values and putting, uh, showing two values, okay, that's all. So the user enters uh, two values, C and D, and it will be displayed uh, to the, okay, print command, uh, print screen, okay? That's all. So we are using, okay, this class in our next class, okay, which is object array, this one. How? So actually, uh, let me show you. Uh, very closely this, these two programs okay so uh, remember uh, array this class account is taking two values and giving uh, printing two values okay the same uh, the same okay method is applied okay here in the object array uh, when we say that we are uh, defining a new class object array thereafter we are going for main function okay uh, the method public static void main is called, okay, uh, written here inside object array. And thereafter, okay, uh, we are now declaring and uh, we are now instantiating or, okay, uh, generating a new object, okay. You can see this is the keyword for generating a new object, okay, new. So account is a class. And now we are going for uh, 
in instantiation of those class okay that class account and creating <coughs> excuse me creating an object okay of account class so that's why this line comes in we are now okay instantiating creating a new class generating a new uh, sorry, object new object the object name is okay of this array okay object and this is the symbol of remember i told you about the array okay so this is the, the same symbol okay uh, the name of the array is obj obj and this is the symbol of array okay so we are now creating a new class object okay of type account account type okay so uh, but at the same time we are telling that we need just two Access, okay can this okay and thereafter we are now putting some values okay so before that okay again uh, we have one more thing look at the line these two these two lines uh, actually in the creation of object we are again telling that we need again one more object okay inside of account so it is something like this let's say the uh, first time in this line okay uh, I'm talking about this line okay this one account object okay array new account okay so at this moment we are creating an object array like this one okay having two boxes uh, okay and this is okay OBJ and array okay like this one object this one and this is okay you can think like this this these are two boxes okay arrays okay? Yeah. of array object okay this one okay and the next one is uh, about this line okay we finish this line like this one okay then we are now again okay putting object okay zero obj and zero element okay at the first element because remember zero one okay it will start from zero so in the first element we are now again declaring okay uh, in this line this this line okay this line this one object zero is new account okay again we are telling that this one is simply uh, the first box okay, is uh, again okay uh, instantiated okay uh, created a new object okay object zero is new account okay of account type okay and in this line again okay uh, we are telling that obj1 okay this is uh, another okay class uh, i mean object okay for uh, type account okay so the meaning of these two lines are like this okay too. So, okay, that's all. But at the same time, okay, uh, in fact, we are creating uh, inside this array another array, okay, of type account. Because remember, the array, okay, uh, of account type, okay, is like this one and this one. So, we are creating arrays of, okay, objects arrays of object this one okay so here okay we are creating arrays okay of objects okay so what is inside this object or in this one it is here in li next line okay next line we are telling that in this these boxes okay uh, we will have in the object zero the first one a the value okay that we are going to set using the method set data remember set data is inside okay this count class so here we are using that set data okay method to put inside two values one and two okay so in this box okay okay actually we are generating another array a set of arrays okay uh, oh shoot okay just wait a second i will just remove some of the main things okay like this 
Okay. Let's go back to remove this one. Wait a second. So here, okay, in this object, okay, zero, we are putting in this box, okay, two values, one and two, okay, like this one, okay, one and two. But how can we put in one box two values? Actually, we need to, okay, put just like an array, okay. So that's why uh, we use the earlier two lines, okay. See? So that's why we use these two lines, one by one. Object zero will take uh, a an object, okay? Object zero array, actually, okay? This one, object zero array, will take uh, a new, I mean, it will create a new, okay, uh, object okay, itself. So it is just creation of object of objects, okay? So new object, okay, of type account, so inside the object zero, uh, there will be another array. Okay? And inside that array, we are putting again two values, one and two, like this one, okay? which is here in this line. Okay? Then again, in the object one, okay, we are putting another, okay? because it is the same way okay, declared as object one is new account, means in the object one array, the the box of object one, okay, will have a new, okay, account type, okay, uh, object. And inside the object, we have another two boxes. And inside these two, okay, so how they are related? Actually, they are related by pointing to, okay, as I shown you here, okay, they are pointing to the locations of respective object uh, locations of respective okay the boxes respective boxes you can think like this okay so so you can think it as a box of boxes okay box of box so here in the object one okay we are putting two values three and four now we will put three and four so this means we are putting in one box another box okay of two values one and two okay like this one and in the in this box okay we are putting another box okay of two values three and four simply okay just think it like this that's all so uh, I think now it will be very clear right so let's move on so after that okay the uh, the system will print okay and the values of these okay objects like this okay mm -hmm. if i can write uh, there's some problem sometimes oh wait a second my pen is not working okay i think yes okay i think I don't know. Uh, wait a second. I think there's some issue. Okay, no problem. I will use my mouse. So this line, okay, will print, okay, uh, array element zero, okay, means this one, okay. and uh, also uh, the this line, okay, will print. I mean, after this, okay, uh, using this one, okay, this line will print. The main thing is this one, okay. This line will print uh, array element zeros values and one and two, and this line, okay, this one will print object one in the same way object zero. So it will print object one show data. Okay, the method which is called to show the data any values key method okay, of three and four. So it is okay simply. Uh, taking, putting inside, okay, setting inside, okay, the values, and then showing the values. That's all, the same way. So, thinking about arrays of objects, okay. So, array, and inside array, we have objects, okay, like this one. 
So last time we have shown you okay how does it work, and again okay uh, we are now okay in the position to run it. So let's run it. That's all okay, for the moment. So okay on page number thirteen in in your lab manual. So I will show you now okay how does it run. So and here I am going to run the program. Uh, first, let's see the account, okay, Java, the same thing, the same program. This is the same program, class account. And let's compile it, that's okay. Here, everything is same as in the lab manual, okay. And if you run it, it will not show anything, okay. Uh, in fact, we cannot run it because uh, there's nothing to run inside. There's no main class inside. So it will just compile, okay, and keep it, keep all the data, okay, intact inside the application. That's all. But how about if I go for the uh, yes, object array? This, okay, class definition. So in the object array, we have used the account. So it will go many times to this file, to this file, and take the uh, method set data and show data from this class okay during the uh, process of setting the data and showing the data okay all these things and even before okay uh, to create a new class okay we will have uh, utilization of account okay account class this one so let's okay compile this one so this is all the whole program, okay, in Java about the object array. So compile it, yes, and run this program. And now, as you can see here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we have one and two. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, okay, one and two, and three and four. Okay. So first. In the object zero box zero, we are putting two values, okay, We're using another box, okay, and in object, okay, one, uh, and the second box of array, okay, main box, we are putting two values as uh, another box, okay, three and four. So, uh, but in fact, uh, last time I I think I have added one more box, okay, object two. Uh, in the first okay main box okay uh, the array okay so uh, so here okay there are three boxes not just two okay uh, but let's okay remove this one for the time being okay there are two boxes okay of the main okay array let me just remove this one that's okay it will not to be okay that's all uh, and also, uh, or just we can say we have to write again. So why don't we just keep it as comment? That's okay. That's all. So here we have two boxes, okay, in the array of type account, okay, uh, the object actually, okay, not just not just box. And uh, here, okay, we are putting in the first box, okay, object zero, two values, okay, one and two. And in the line number 15, we are going to put two values, three and four, in the object one, okay, the second box. So uh, all are just like this, okay, that's all. So let's run this program. So I will buy again one more time and run it again, that's all. And now you can see here, okay, it is just showing the values of A, B, okay, in the element zero, the first box, and the second, okay, uh, box, okay, element one, the values three and four, okay. So uh, you can think it like, okay, box of boxes, okay. 
that's okay so this is a demo for okay objects of arrays or arrays of array okay? you can think like this so uh, this is all about okay i repeated this because the main idea will start from here in the next program okay let's go to the next program which is uh, on page number i think 15 right in your lab let me check it again one more time so page number of course i think page number 14 actually okay uh, we have linear search example page number 14 so oh binary no not binary i'm talking about linear search so where is this one i have already written somewhere wait a second uh no 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 linear search. Ah, okay this one this program this is on page number 14 that's okay in your lab manual if you see it it will be like that page number 14 so this is based on arrays of array of arrays okay uh the same uh, principle in, like account class and uh, uh the next one, I did see. Uh, which one? I this account and I remember object array. So, so uh, this will work okay in the same way, but this time uh, this is a, an algorithm actually. Okay? The algorithm name is linear search. Okay, linear search. So we are in utilizing okay the concept of linear search algorithm inside this program okay this is very small but very okay powerful program and here okay on uh, which you can see it in the lab manual here okay uh, we are searching for an object inside array okay we are searching for an object just like you search in google okay uh, some element okay something in the same way here we are searching an object okay inside the array so searching algorithms over array okay so this is a well known algorithm such as algorithm so here we have a sequential search this means we are searching from element 0 the first element of array then we will go to the next element okay next box okay the box number one then we will search box number two so we have a series of boxes just like in array okay and in every box okay we are searching not randomly we are searching one by one from starting from the zero okay the first box zero okay then the second box box number one then the third box okay box number uh two okay and uh, actually uh by indexing it will be box number two but uh the by the number okay it will be the third one okay then and so on so we will start from uh, the first box to the last box okay uh we will search inside that okay those boxes some value that's all okay the meaning is like this uh if i can okay explain you here i think it's not possible uh can i Okay, wait a second. I will show you by another application. This is uh, just one time I'm telling you, but it will work for many okay, purpose. So let's say, uh, as I tell you, uh, there is a collection of boxes like this one. Let's say this is an array, okay? like this one. Remember, array is a collection of boxes. Okay? Just like this one, maybe boxes. All these are boxes. So here, I what I want to show you is okay. This is zero. Okay. This is one. This is two, three, and four, and so on. Five, six. So these are indexing of the boxes. Okay, positioning. So we are searching an let's say there's a, there are inside okay some values also 
in the every box. Let's say in the box number zero, we have value six. This is nine inside some value like seven, eight, four. And uh, inside this box, there is a value like uh, three and one, like this one. So here in this series of okay, boxes, which is array, okay, actually, uh, we are searching for an a value, okay? Let's say I want to search number four, okay? In which box have number four? So this search algorithm will help us to find number four for the exact location. So every time we will start uh, using the search algorithm, okay, this one, let's say search algorithm, we are searching the first one, then we will go to the second one, then we will go to the third one, okay, then the fourth and so on. So if we find the element, okay, then we say, okay, it's existing at number box number one, two, three, four, five position number five and the uh, indexing of four, okay? So we can say that, okay, I found that one at this location, okay? Indexed as number four, okay? So this is all about the story about the search algorithm, okay? So the same idea is okay, implemented in terms of search algorithm, that's all. So very easy, very uh, understandable, and you can get it, okay? I think you got the idea already. That's okay. So here's the program. Uh, linear search example. So one more thing is here, okay? Uh, it returns the index position, okay? As I told you just now. And if the key element is not found, let's say the value, okay? is not there, then it will return minus one, okay? Some kind of error that, okay, we didn't find. So the same thing is here. In line number 15, we started with the class, okay? Declaration, definition, linear search example. The class name is linear search example. Inside, we have the first method. The method is public static integer, linear search, this one. And inside, okay, we are taking in two, okay, parameters or okay, arguments. The first one is integer type array, okay. The second one is key, okay, just name, okay. But the key is used to, okay, search, that's all. Okay, so uh, taking these two parameters, okay, or arguments, okay, we are moving further with the for loop, okay? Because we have to run the program as a loop, okay? To search each and every time, one by one, one by one, okay? To every, okay, location in the box, uh, in the series of boxes, okay, array. So that's why we are starting from zero. I is less than, okay, array. So the array is actually, okay, uh, taken from the, okay, uh, as input uh, from the user, okay, let's say. So inside the length of, length means the size of the, okay, uh, number of boxes, you can think like that, okay, length of array. So the array, if we, there's array, we must have some length, means number of boxes, okay, you can think like that. So number of boxes are actually the length, okay. We can think like that. So the length of array uh, is the endpoint, okay, at which we will say, okay, we started from the zero initial position to the end of the, okay, last, I mean, to the end of the array or the to up to the last box, okay. So this for loop will run from zero to the last box, that's all, okay? And every time we are increasing the numbering of boxes from box number zero to box number one and box number two and so on, okay? And if the array i, okay, is the key, the searching value, okay? So this is the searching value. We are searching for this value, okay, the key. 
then we say okay i got it written i okay that's all and then okay uh, that's all so otherwise okay we will return minus one that's okay so uh, what is inside the main function it is here in line number okay uh, 24 we start with the main function the program will run from here that's okay so we are taking inside an array okay we are okay, taking inside an array a okay uh, an array uh, so here we are okay, declaring this array integer array any type of the array is integer and the name of the array is a1 that's okay and how does it look like? It looks like this one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes okay, inside this array. And uh, we are searching the value 50 inside this, okay, the, uh, this set of boxes or collection of boxes, okay, which is uh, an array. So in this array, which is a collection of boxes like this one, uh, the values are like this. And we are searching okay, one value, which is 50. Uh, you can see here, it is here, right? But OK, how does the program work? If we have a, a collection of thousands of boxes, or maybe uh, millions of boxes, OK, then it will be not easy to find. So using algorithm, we can find that one. Okay, so uh, every time, okay, it will run the program, the main function, okay, will start from here. We have declared in line number 25, this array, okay, and we have the key value, the, the search value, okay, to which we are going to find inside this array, okay. So then we are calling here, okay, the linear search method here the same one see here this one linear search and inside okay the argument the first one is the array itself which is a1 in this case okay this is the array okay and this is the key okay a1 a okay which is this one and the key okay which is which will be placed here okay in this method is 50 this one so now it is very clear, right? That we are calling this linear search to, fi to find this value, key value, okay? Inside this array, okay? This array actually, that's all. So I, I hope you got a complete idea, okay? What is going on here? So let's, okay, come build it. Okay. And thereafter, okay, just run it. Oh, uh, but the name is linear search, so it is uh, this one, okay, linear search exam. Just right click and run it. And you will find the result. Uh, the 50, okay, value 50 is found at index 3, okay. So index 3 means this is 0, this is 1. This is two, and this is three. Okay, so at index three, okay, we have found fifty, the same value, okay, to which we are looking for. So this is very easy program, okay, to for the search. Uh, okay, well, let's go for the next program. Okay, so uh, this is very good. Is there any problem, anyone? You can ask me now, that's okay. No? Okay. So I will move further, that's okay. So let's go for another search okay, method, which is called, uh, I think, binary search, which is available. This one is in the on the page number 14 of lab manual. Uh, the next page, page number 15, I think there is another search method. Page number 
there is another such method which is known as binary search algorithm. Okay, binary search algorithm. So now we will see what is that and how does it work. And in fact, in your lab memo, there is no explanation for this one. That's okay. But the binary search okay works uh, uh, by both sides actually. Okay, so it don't work just from one side. It will work from both sides. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that okay. Uh, okay, let's show you the program. And then you can understand linear search and binary search, this one. So in the page number 15, you can see this program exactly. Uh, the binary search algorithm, okay, which is implemented here, works like this. Okay. So, okay, let me explain this. Program uh, even before I think it's better to tell you the binary search works not just from the starting point zero one two three four okay from one side it works from both sides actually from the starting okay side the first zero okay position and at the end okay last position so what does it mean it means that it will divide every time okay the boxes so first it will search okay uh, putting uh, putting all the boxes in two parts okay making half of them for one search and half of them for another search okay like this one okay let's see the program so public class okay binary search example so uh, we are now declaring in line number seven okay uh, the class binary search example. The first method, which is on line number eight, is public static void binary search. This binary search will take, the method will take uh, array, okay? So the user has to okay, write the complete array, okay? And then, which is here, okay, as you can see, okay, no problem. Just start from here, that's okay. line number eight. Uh, this method binary search will take array. Also, it will take uh, two variables, uh, actually three variables, the first, the last, and key, okay? So it will be clear what, what does it mean, okay? So it will take array and three variables, okay? Uh, so array variable, okay, integer type, then the next variable, integer type, name first, uh, and the last, okay, and the key. So, in fact, these, okay, variables are the first vari uh, first element, the last element of array, okay, and the key, okay, the searching, okay, uh, searching value, that's all. Okay, uh, okay, so the line number nine will uh, declare another, okay, variable, mid, okay, integer mid, which will be the mathematically adding the first and the last element so let's say the first element is okay uh, zero and the last element the last box is nine so zero plus nine divide by two the half will be uh, zero plus nine means 4.5 okay so it will be in the mid okay uh, you can think it four or five okay box you can take either four or five box okay, in the first search. So it will set half at the first time and the other half at the second time. The meaning is like this. Right? So that's why it is called binary two search. Okay? Binary means two. So binary search means two searches. Okay. Okay. So in line number ten, the program will uh, initiate by the while loop. Okay. While loop. If the first, okay, inside, if the first, okay, then we are talking about the element, okay? If the first element of the array is less than or equal to okay, last one, obviously it is true, usually, okay? Then 
we will say okay we will check the condition if array mid okay, this mid okay, which is mid number of the array uh, of the array box okay, if the mid array okay if the array mid is less than key value okay key value then we say uh, if it the condition is true array mid is less than key okay then first equal to mid plus one okay then the first will be mid plus one so we will go for other half okay so let's say uh, I will show you just a moment okay, let's say uh, let's say uh, the first array okay zero element uh, zero box okay let's say we have value two then we have value four then we have value six and keep in mind that the arrangement of numbers okay is in order it will not be like this one will be here and then two will be here no not really it should be in well uh, in one order okay increasing order so the value in the box zero will be two value in the box okay one will be four and the next six and then seven and let's say eight and nine so on so here uh, in binary search we uh, have how many boxes one two three four five six six boxes okay so let's say this is a collection of okay array uh, i mean the collection of boxes collection of elements and uh, this is just an array and inside we want to search by dividing half and half okay let's say we want to search first this one and then this one the that's why it is bin binary okay so uh we have to start okay from uh exactly from the key let's say i want to search number eight okay which where is number eight so i will search first okay uh, I will go through this element, uh, the entire array, and then okay, uh, I will check what is the okay value. If the eight is uh, less than these values, or okay less than these values, okay. I mean, if the eight is uh, here, okay. If the eight is less than, uh, sorry. I mean, if the uh, mid of this okay we will divide first okay so let's say we divide in two parts like this one and if the mid okay mid value uh, let's say the mid value is six okay in some cases so if the six is less than eight or not if the six is less than eight which is true okay six is less than eight okay then we say okay we don't need to search this one okay if the six is less than eight yeah this means we will not find our value eight inside so that's why we will skip we will not search here okay we will search from here on okay so by this way we can save the time okay we don't need to search all these okay, boxes just search inside the second box second uh, half of the box okay so if the six is less than eight this means we will not find in the first half the values so in that way we will go to the second half okay this one and here we will say that the first one is mid plus one so the, let's say the mid was here now the first will element will be for this search will be seven and the last will be nine and we will search from seven then eight and so on so now finally we will get the exact value eight here right so what is the advantage advantage is we will save time by searching okay not this one but only this one that's all okay the meaning is like this okay so let's see okay uh, in real action how does it work in the program that's all so is it okay? I think uh, the thing is very clear. Okay. So are you listening? That's okay.
no what is here what's up are you listening okay that's okay so okay i will just move on further so if the array mid is less than k then we will say that the first element will be mid plus one otherwise okay we will say array mid is equal to k okay this one and system dot out dot print will be uh, i mean it will now print that okay in other cases if the array mid is equal to k okay uh, let's say we got the value here, okay, array mid. Then we say, okay, we got the, we found, okay, the exact element, that's all. Uh, in the third case, okay, let's say uh, we uh, have opposite, okay, condition that let's say uh, the mid is more than k, okay, let's say. Then in that case, we have to move to the next half, okay. That's why we say here, uh, I mean the first okay this one if the mid is more than okay key so this means uh, we have to search here actually I'm oh, sorry to say uh, the first one okay array mid is less than key then it will be direction to move to the next half okay because the mid is okay less than key let's say the number eight so we are searching number eight and if the mid okay let's say six is less than eight it will be true and it will say it will go like this way it will go for the second half here it is opposite the let's say uh, i am talking about number four let's say okay in that case if the four is more than okay if the condition is like this if the four is more than okay uh sorry i mean six is more than okay four then it is not true so in that case okay it will move okay uh, to uh, second the last condition okay so you can think it as the situation conditions number one number two and number three so in the third one we are going for mid minus one okay so whatever is mid we are reducing the mid as mid minus one and we will search okay from here to here that's all because we have searched already in this first condition this one if it is true if it is not true we will say that the mid is all already that key that number okay we are searching for this one this line and the third can possibility is the first half, okay, or before the okay, mid one, that one, is the search area where we need to search. Okay, so this is the third one, last equal to mid minus one. So here, okay, uh, mid equal to first plus last by two in the same way, this one. And if uh, so, this is all about the while loop, okay, inside the while loop. So it will the while loop will help us to give the number of okay uh, divisions actually divide in two parts okay and finding the exact value in the first one first half or the second half or even in the mid one okay that's also uh, the so while loop will work for that one then this entire while loop the second thing is okay we will also check the condition that if the first is less uh, more than last if the first is more than last okay then we say okay element is not found because the first is more than last means uh, we have no possibility to find the exact key exact number exact value key method, okay so if the first is more than last then we simply print this one that we didn't find because it is not possible in that case because uh, in that case uh, if we have element exact element inside okay the array to which we are looking for let's say we are looking for nine okay then it must be okay the last should be more than first one okay like this one 
so the last should be more than okay the first one okay but if it is just opposite that first is more than last okay then okay there's not uh, there's no possibility of finding exact element first is more than last so okay uh, so all these are okay, inside binary search method that's all and we will call here that's okay so now our main function will start from here okay the program run from here public static void line numbers 27 and we are taking uh, okay a string type okay a string type array and uh, that's okay for the main it is useful that's okay uh, we will start from here line number 28 we are now declaring a, an array of integer type let's say uh, like this one so these are this is a, this is a collection of boxes think like this okay inside 10 20 30 40 and 50 these are the values in different boxes of okay that array here we are searching for key value, okay, 30. As you can see here, it is here, right? So first, okay, it will divide, okay? Uh, so how does it divide? By using first plus last by two, okay? So first plus last, okay, and divide by two. So it will count how many arrays, uh, how many boxes are there. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? So zero plus five, okay? Uh, sorry, I mean, how many elements? So it will be first and the last. So the first one, two, three, four, five. So one plus five, how much? Okay, one plus five, six, divide by two, three, okay? So it will take the three one, okay? one as one half actually it is not one half but uh, by the method okay first plus last it will think like okay up to here almost okay it is half and this one is almost one half another half okay and then it will search by all this method that i shown you here i told you just now okay? and then okay uh, it will do the process of searching okay here so integer okay before that it will go for line number 30 which is important so here the integer type variable last is there which is taking values okay from array okay this array length minus one so whatever is length the length is one two three four five so there are five boxes so five minus one it will become four so array dot four, okay, fourth element, okay, will be the last one, okay. So it will just reduce, okay. Uh, it will consider that the last one is like this one, okay. That's all. So uh, that's all, okay. It is the requirement because uh, we need last also in this, okay, in this binary search. See here, we need array, we need first. We need last and we need key. So we need four elements, okay, input for the binary search. So that's why, okay, we need array, the same. We need the first, okay. So first is already, okay, here, because we have uh, put it as zero, the first one, okay, here. So we don't need to uh, define it, okay, or declare it. But the last is declared as array dot length minus one because the length is this one okay and array will move okay uh, length one it will just okay move one length okay from here because why because uh, the indexing will start from zero okay so that's why we are uh, reducing subtracting one from the whole length okay because we are interested to find the index number, not the length entire, okay? So if the length is one, two, three, four, five, this means uh, index will start from zero, one, two, three, and four, 
not 5. Okay, so that's why we are subtracting number 1 from the length. Okay, so 5 minus 1 equal to 4. So, uh, so index will end at 4. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's all. And the key is the searching object, okay, searching value. That's all. So let's, okay, compile this one and run it. So by the search, we can run it. And if you can see here, okay, I think it's better. The uh, 30, okay, value 30 is found at index 2, okay. So it is found at index 2. So index 2 means it is not 1, 2, okay, it is 0. 1, 2, okay? So this is the index, 2, okay? Not the position. This is index, 1, 2, 3. This is the third position, but it is not indexing. 0, 1, 2. This is the indexing. So at index 2, we found the our search okay, value, our search value, okay, to which we are, have been searching for, okay? That's all. So this is how, okay, the binary search works. That's all. Very easy to understand. That's all. So let's move to the next exercise, okay, uh, which is in the page number, okay, uh, page number, it is in your lab manual, page number 16, okay, object of array. And we have an example, uh, add a list okay, of built-in class object string. And there's a class, array list one, okay? So objects of array, array list of built-in class object. So it is on the page number, one second, 16. And we have okay a class rl1 that's all okay so i will just show you then it will be clear to you and this one so array ls1 okay this one sorry i got it so on page number 16 okay objects of array and a list of built-in class object that's all so here is the main program. It is very simple, very short program. Uh, we are now declaring line number eight, okay? a class array list one. And before that, in line number seven, okay, I have imported a class, okay, which is built inside the Java, okay. Array list. It is already inside the uh, system of Java. Okay, array list. So we will use this array list okay, uh, class to generate some objects. That's why we have used, we have imported this class, this uh, package Java util array list. Okay, that's all. The meaning is this one at line number seven. So we will instantiate we will create some objects that's all okay the line number eight will start with the public class array list one and here we have a method main okay the same one and now we are creating array list okay using this array list okay class we are instantiating generating an object the name is list okay? of the string type, okay, right? In line 11, we have created an object, okay, this one. Then, okay, uh, in line number 13, we are going to add objects in this, okay, array list or list, okay, object. So we are going to add the objects, okay? Uh, it is almost the same idea, okay, as earlier. That's okay. Don't be confused, okay? That's okay. So here, okay, uh, in this object list, 
we are adding one by one elements. So in the let's say in the first box, okay, uh, we are adding a string type variable, okay, because remember it is a string type array. It is a collection of okay a string type boxes, okay. We can put inside the strings, not integer, okay. So which is declared in line number eleven. So now we will use that okay idea to put inside values statement. Okay, let's dot add in the first one we are adding Ali, then Imad, then Saleh, then Mona. Okay, in these uh, four boxes one two three four. Okay, like this, and we are printing. That's all. Okay, the same one. The, all these okay values statement. So let's see. Uh, it's very simple. So here we have run the program, let's say, and you can see it, see it here, okay? In the first, okay, box, Ali, second, third, and fourth, okay? So this is just a collection of boxes of strings, okay? Like this one, very simple. Okay, so let's go to the second, okay, program, array list two. Okay, and let's do this one. Okay. In this one, okay, we are going for which is also in page number 16 in your lab manual. We are iterating, okay, repeating actually, repeating over the array list using for loop, okay. Here, okay. So, okay, the meaning is like this. It is also very simple, very easy program. So in the error list two object in line number eight, okay, we start with the main function like this one. The error list of type string, okay. And one more thing is here, we didn't import. Oh yeah, we imported. That's okay. Okay. So okay, error list, okay, of the string type variable, okay. Uh, the same idea, okay. The list the same here we have instantiated or generated a new class okay, of this type array list of string and we are adding in the same way Ali, Imar, Sile, Mona okay but the thing is here okay, in this for loop we are moving okay okay uh, moving traversing list through for each loop okay so every time we are moving from the first element to the last element using the for loop, okay? For loop. Earlier in the array list one, we were just, okay, putting the values, okay? And printing the va values, okay? That's all. We were putting the value inside the boxes and we are getting the values, okay? Using this print, that's all. In this one, it is a little different. How? Because this time we are putting the values, but we are using for loop to get the values. Okay, that's all. Almost the same idea, but using the for loop, we are trying to get those objects, those values. So here for string, okay, object list. So the for loop, okay, will okay, have okay, uh, object of a string type, uh, which is which will look inside the list, okay, array, set of boxes, okay, inside this box, okay, uh, set of box, and uh, we are taking uh, an object or just uh, some kind of uh, temporary, okay, uh, object or some kind of, uh, you can say, pointer, okay, to get the values, that's all. This is the difference between the first program and the this second one. And every time, okay, the for loop will run. Okay, let me put it like this. So every time, okay, uh, the for loop will run, repeat again and again. Every time, the pointer will move from one position to the next position to the next position and get the values one by one, one by one. Okay, so let's say the it is like this that 
let's say we have numbers 1, 3, 6, 9, uh, 8, uh, no, no, actually it is a string of, okay, array, so let's say uh, Ali is there, then uh, Imad is there, okay, and Saleh, okay, is there, and Mona is there. These are okay, uh, set of boxes. In the first box, this value, second one, this one, and so on. So every time this for loop will move from the first one, okay, then it will put the value back to the print okay, screen. Then it will move to the next one. It will print the value okay, again to the print screen. Then it will move to this one and move, print the value okay, in the same way. So that's why we are using system out print line object, which is here, okay, the string type, okay, temporary object, we can think like this. And look inside the list, okay, and using the object, we will uh, get the values, that's all. The meaning is like this. So again, okay, let's compile it and run it. So array list to okay, of one. One and the file, and you can see here it is putting one by one all the values like this. Okay. So this is also very easy. Okay, the last program. Okay, I want to show you. It is almost the same. Okay, so that's why I want to show you, and that's all. In page number 17, using for loop, okay, almost the same idea. So here, okay, we are going for uh, exactly, okay, the similar things. So what does it mean? It means that, okay, uh, now first, okay, we are using the import method, import, okay, for array list. It is uh, exactly the same thing as earlier. Uh, now we have Eric list three class from here. Then we are calling the main function. So the program will start from here. And again, the array list is used to generate a new class, okay, of string type, which is list, okay. And inside the list object, you can think like Eric a collection of array, one by one, we are putting the values inside every box, that's all. Okay, thereafter, I think, uh, we are printing just one line statement, that's okay. And thereafter, okay, in line number 17, okay, we are moving, okay, using the for loop, okay, almost the same way, but a little different, just if you think like this, okay. So for integer i equal to zero, so we are starting from zero index, okay, the first box, okay, which is indexed as zero, okay, so you can think like this, like Ali is at index number zero, okay, in the box number zero, you can think, uh, then we have another Imad, okay, which is in the box number one, okay, as per the index, okay, Actually, the first box has Ali, the second one has Imad, but by indexing of the box, it will be zero, it will be one, and so on, okay, like this. So it will be like this. So every time we will start from index zero, okay, this one, then we will move further and further, okay, like this. So up to less dot size. So size means the size of the array, okay? Size of all the boxes, the number of boxes, okay? You can think like this. Size means number of boxes, that's all. The length of array or size of the boxes, that's all. And every time we are increasing the value, zero index to the one, to, uh, to two, okay? Zero, one, two, three, and so on. So every time we will start from zero, one, and two, and three, and so on, okay, like this way. So this is why it is I plus plus. So this means we are taking 
the value i first, then we will increment. That's all. Okay, so i is less than list dot size. This means uh, we will go up to the last element, okay, which is less than one. Okay, remember, as per the index. That's why we use minus uh, less than. Okay, the symbol. Okay, so the first, okay, in, we will go for zero. Then the last will be size minus one. Okay, that's all. Uh, I mean the length minus one. The entire. So let's say we have one, two, three, four elements inside. Okay, so it will go four minus one index. Okay, so zero, one, two, three. Okay, up to three. That's all. Uh, that's all, okay. And this line, okay, I should put it as index so that you can understand better. That's okay. So now, okay, you can see uh, this print line will print, okay, list dot get i. So get is a function inside, okay, this list object, which is coming from array list, okay. So the function is declared originally inside array list, okay, which is uh, taking from here to here and here and finally we can use that one. So, so that get function which is built in inside a list okay, is is utilized okay to get back the values to get back the values of this okay uh, these values okay that's all simply get i one by one. That's all. So let's compile this and run it. And you can see here we got the values. That's okay. Almost the same way. Ali Imad Sali Mona. That's all. Okay. So now we got different types of ideas about the same thing, okay, arrays of array, or arrays of objects, that's all. So uh, I think uh, I don't have too much here, that's okay, further, I think this is the last example, uh, one more second, I will check it, that's all. So object of arrays. Uh, okay, so that's all for today. I think this is enough. Okay, so that's all for today. I think uh, you got so many things. So just try to practice. That's all. And we will start from the next time. Okay, uh, from page number, uh, just I'm looking at page number 17 uh, about the Add a list of user defined class. So we will create some classes, okay, and use them for as array list. Okay, that's all. Because this time, okay, remember as you can see here, we are using okay built-in array, okay, list. Next time we will create our own array list, okay, using classes. So first we will create a class, okay, then we will use that one. Okay, we, so we don't need to improve, import that one, this one. Okay, we will create our own class and we will take out okay uh, that okay object from there to run such kind of operations like arrays okay, inside our program. So this will be our next objective. 